This is not a sponsored video, but I do want to share something with you. Over the last few years, while I've been working on this channel and working with Python, I found a number of really good Python resources. And every now and then I think, oh, I must share that resource on the channel. And so this is one of those times. The resource today that I want to share is a Python blog. You might know it. It's called Practical Business Python and the URL is pbpython.com. It's by Chris Moffitt and it's been going, I think, maybe for five or six years now, maybe a bit longer. And it's excellent. As the title suggests, it's sort of aimed at business use. So it's quite heavy on tutorials on how to use pandas and on data visualization and that kind of thing. One of the most popular posts on the blog is common Excel tasks demonstrated in pandas, which is useful if you're thinking of using Python instead of Excel. And you should change from Excel to Python. It, you, you won't regret it. Uh, and I made a video about that some time ago. And, you know, it's been a bit controversial, but it's not really. Excel's fine. It's, it's, in fact, Excel's very good at certain things. But Python handles data analysis better. There are certain limitations to Excel that, that Python doesn't have. So if you're doing serious data analysis, then you should consider switching to Python. But if you're interested in Python for those reasons, I would definitely take a look at uh, Chris's blog. The posts go into a lot of detail. They're very well researched, they're very well written, and you'll understand a lot more Python and how to use pandas much better for reading the blog. So go and take a look at it. The other thing I wanted to mention today is that for most of this year I've been planning to release a learning platform, my own learning platform, but what with everything that's happened this year, I just, I've been delayed getting around to it. But I can say now that my platform is finally ready. And there are a couple of Python courses on there at the moment. And I'm planning to add more content. So over the course of the next six months or so, I'll be adding a course on NumPy, a course on data visualization. There'll be courses going up on maths, you know, probability and st statistics and maths for machine learning and that kind of thing. Now, something I think uh, is wrong in the online learning space at the moment, I'm going to move out of the way, actually, the sun's in my eyes, is the cost of a lot of these platforms. I think the cost is quite high. And something I wanted to try to do, if I turn around actually the sun will be out of my eyes. Uh, something I wanted to, oh, it's a bit dark now isn't it? Oh my goodness, where do I go? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, I'll find the right spot and I'll come back to you. How's that? Is that any better? It's one of those winter's days here where the sun's very low in the sky and there are unusually no clouds and so it makes me very bright. Anyway, I think one of the problems with a lot of learning platforms is that they're overpriced for what you get and they're much more expensive than the equivalent books you know, covering the same topics. So something I've tried to do is to keep the price as low as possible. So the cost for a year's membership on my platform is $19, but I'm going to be frequently discounting that. So if you sign up today uh, and there's a discount code in the description, you'll get a year's membership for $5. So go and take a look and see what you think, and I'll see you next time.